Welcome to our good old-fashioned budget signing. I'm San Francisco Mayor London Breed, and today we sign an almost $14 billion budget for the city, and I am so excited and proud. And I gotta say that this was probably one of the most I'm, well, not as hard as it had been in the past, budget processes. And that has a lot to do with Supervisor Hillary Ronan, who led as a chair of the Budget Committee. I know it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy on both sides. And I know your colleagues are sitting here today, maybe not all smiling because you had to do what you had to do, um, but at the end of the day, I feel really good about what we were able to do together because we knew we were going to have to make some hard decisions and, and in fact, um, some controversial decisions. But one of the decisions I am most proud of is what we did to support our workforce. Um, the first time, I don't know any other mayor in recent history that didn't go to arbitration to negotiate wage increases. And this is one of the first times that we did not do that. And we know that that could have resulted in possibly a lower wage. But in fact, we understood through this pandemic, through all the challenges that we experienced, a lot of people probably felt beat, burned out, and defeated. And what we wanted to do is restore excitement about the work, excitement about what we do as public servants. We wanted to reward our workforce, especially those who not only did their jobs because they had to as essential workers, but those who also showed up as emergency workers who stepped up and did a lot of other things for the city at Moscone Center and places all over the city that got us through this pandemic. And even though San Francisco is one of the densest cities in the country, we had one of the lowest death rates. Not a thousand people died from COVID because of the work of this workforce and the leadership of Dr. Colfax and Mary Ellen Carroll and so many folks who really made it possible. It really was a village, a village of a lot of the workforce, a lot of our nonprofit workers. And let me just also say, in order to support our nonprofit workers, we provided nonprofit agencies not only with the same raise and a little bit more that the city employees received, but we also provided an additional $15 million in this budget to support nonprofit agencies in San Francisco that also stepped up to the plate during COVID to help us get to where we needed to go. So I'm deviating a little bit from my notes. I know that we have members of our Board of Supervisors here, and thank you all for joining us, including the President of the Board of Supervisors, Shimon Walton. Um, I want to say thank you to our public safety officials and our elected leaders and our department heads and, and, and all of the people who work every single day to make sure that we are meeting the needs of the people of San Francisco because we know it's not easy work. And I want to also take us back to really, again, thank Hillary Ronan as a chair and the best chair since, you know, Sandy Fewer's not here the best chair we've ever worked with on the Board of Supervisors. Um, as I said earlier, it was not easy. Um, but working with your team, bringing us realistic possibilities. I mean, we started from a whole place that I didn't know if we would ever get to that point. But um, I know what it took to not only meet with all the different department heads and agencies, but to work with your colleagues, to work with the community, to sit there during the budget process. I've done it myself, never as budget chair, um, but I know how hard it is and how many hours you put into this work. So thank you and your office for your leadership and your work and your consistency and being great to work with, with our budget department. Because, and, and I know Ashley isn't here, um, Ashley left. Ashley um, was the budget uh, director for my office, and she was so saddened that the, the uh, Celtics lost to the Warriors <laughs> that she decided to go home and cheer her team up because they needed her. 
So she left San Francisco to go work there. And so I want to thank the budget team and, and everyone for all the work you all did. A um, lot of changes, a lot of twists, a lot of turns. Um, but again, we came up with, I think, what is a really great budget. Um, I really want to also just thank all the different departments, as I said, um, for your work, too, because um, doing this work is, it, during budget season, it's, it's probably the roughest, most challenging time. Um, but we know that at the end of the day, our budget is a big reflection of our values. And I will also say that, you know, we focused on a lot of the priorities of what people in the city cared about. Um, we focused on public safety. And I know that sometimes the conversation around public safety really tried to center around the police department. But the reality is we have a department that is understaffed and a department that needs additional resources. Police is just a part of the equation. And when we look at the resources that we invested in our uh, street uh, violence prevention program, our homeless outreach teams, um, our wellness teams, our street crisis response teams, all these different groups, the ambassadors, all of these people are the ones who are responding to calls that don't need a police response. They're showing up, and in fact, over the past year, since the street crisis response team existed, responding to over a thousand calls and helping close to 70 percent of those people get some level of services, those people that we hear about, where folks are saying, wait a minute, they're out there taking off all their clothes and you need to help them, they're out there lost, we, we got to do something about this, and we're doing something about it. We're working with this team that is an alternative to policing. We're working with our ambassadors who are out in the downtown area and all across the Tenderloin and other neighborhoods focusing on trying to keep the community safe but also be these welcoming people in the eyes and ears on the streets. We are committed to our economic recovery. So we are going to have to invest in some of the things that need to be done to get people back to work. We are going to have to invest in our neighborhoods and our communities and in the cleanliness of our city. We know San Francisco is a special place. And a lot of people have tried to talk about San Francisco in a not so favorable light. And the fact is, we know the beauty of our city. We know the spirit of our city. We know that San Francisco, although we're a compassionate city, we also are a city who believes in making hard decisions in order to get to a better place. So I want to make sure that in passing this budget and getting it through, that we realize that even though the budget process is a challenging process, the real work begins. The implementation of the promises that we made in this budget to move things forward, to get people hired for the purposes that we need them hired for, to get the streets to be cleaner, to make sure that the streets are safer, to make sure that this beautiful city is what everyone knows it is and more, both in the neighborhoods, those who visit from all over the world, and people who work here and, 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 and take public transportation and move about all over the city every day. It's a lot of work to be done. And so we take this moment to sign the budget as an opportunity to just really recognize all that work and recognize how much more work will need to be done and recognize that we should feel good about what we've invested in because those investments are going to make a world of difference. And we may not see those investments take place today, but just earlier I was out at Treasure Island breaking ground on 138 new units. 71 of those units will go to people who are homeless. 43 of those units will go to low-income families. A new place of about 105 units for homeless veterans is being built as we speak on Treasure Island. Those investments were not made in the budget today. Those investments were made in previous budgets in the past. So know that the fruits of our labor and the work that we do to make San Francisco better, it's happening. And it's happening because of the hard work of all of you here. So let's just make sure we take these dollars, we invest them right. Let's not take office supplies home. Let's not waste money on printing if we don't have to. 
let's remember that every dollar has value. It has value in the work that we do. It has value in the lives that we save. It has value in making the people's lives of San Francisco better every single day. So with that, I know I had a couple other things to say, but I feel like I said enough. And I wanted to provide uh, the budget chair who really led this process to have a moment to speak, ladies and gentlemen, Hillary Ronan. Thank you so much, Mayor Breed. Um, I have to say uh, that karma came home to me during this budget process because even as a legislative aide, I was a pain in the ass every single year during the budget. I was like, District 9's not getting enough. I'm not going to vote for this budget. I'm not going to let David vote for this budget unless we get this, this, and that, and every little thing. And then I became budget chair, and I was like, those pains in an ass, my, all of my colleagues are driving me crazy, and it all came home to roost. So you, you really get a, a, a different viewpoint depending on the role you play in these things. So I just want to say I have a, a, a lot more appreciation for having to look at the entire city and the big picture uh, for all of you, for every single department head, for the mayor. Um, I wanted to thank uh, two of my female colleagues on the Board of Supervisors, Supervisor Malgar and Supervisor Chan, for being <laughs> the behind-the-scenes lobbying team to get me appointed as budget chair. I think they drove President Walton crazy and drove me crazy, begging me to take the job if offered to me. I wanted to thank um, President Walton for having faith in me and uh, to the entire budget team, uh, Vice Chair uh, Safai, who uh, we chair three committees as chair and vice chair together, so are like, you know, Tweedledee and Tweedledum all these, on all these committees and supervisor uh, Mar. Um, and I, I, again, just want to, to, to thank the mayor and also your staff. I mean, partially why this budget went so well is because your staff was just top notch. They were so easy to work with. They were so substantive. They were so honest and straightforward. Uh, Ashley Groffenberger, I'm going to miss her so much, but your, you know, your top staff, Andrus Powers, Sean Ellsburn, your chief of staff, Andrea Bruss, um, they were just a pleasure to work with the entire time. So good on you for hiring the right staff. <laughs> um, and, uh, and, and two other things, uh, I cannot uh, failed to mention my amazing staff, um, both Santiago Lerma and Nikki Saini uh, worked with all of their hearts on this budget. They ran such an open process with all of the legislative aides, were available to all community members, um, really didn't get a lot of sleep <laughs> over at least the last month of the budget process. So thank you so much for everything you did. And then last but not least, um, you, you started off this budget process, uh, you made it easy for us because you prioritized the city workers. I mean, it, both to you and to Director um, Olson, I, Eisen, thank you, I was just gonna say Olson, Eisen. Um, you, you, you recognizing how important it was to prioritize the people that got us through this pandemic and to recognize their work was essential, but it meant <laughs> that we didn't have much money to play with. And so I wanted to thank also all the department heads who really took the instructions that I gave the budget and legislative analysts seriously. You, you really stepped up. Uh, you gave back every cent you could. You pinched. You struggled. Uh, Director Colfax, you, the Department of Public Health, made this process a lot easier uh, with finding $12 million of savings. But really, I just appreciate you all for, for taking those directions so seriously. Thank you so much. Feel really proud of this budget, and congratulations, everyone. Sorry. All right. Um, normally, a mayor wouldn't thank uh, the budget and legislative analyst folks, uh, Harvey Rose and his team, but I'm going to thank them for not hijacking all of my money um, because, again, it reflects 
not just my values and the values of the people of the city, it's the things that you care about too. And I'm really glad that we've been able to work together to get this done right uh, for the people of San Francisco. Now spend it wisely. All right, let's sign this budget. Thank you.